Hello you lovely people and welcome. Yesterday saw the release of Flight Replica's um, HMS Indomitable. Um, I did purchase it, or them, because it comes with HMS Formidable as well. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Right, so let's start with Indomitable. Um, the life rafts looking pretty good round the side there. There's a lot of um, detail gone into that, and unfortunately, because of it being a marketplace product, the guns, which was the main um, thing about the uh, illustrious class, was its ability to defend itself with heavy guns. Um, but those have been omitted um, maybe a third party version would um, would be better um, as it would have everything there looking a lot a lot nicer see we've got the catapult on the left the port port side on the bow um, that is actually raised so if I was to take off um, from this side of the uh, deck it would actually knock my aircraft while I'm on my takeoff run so um, best to avoid the uh, catapult at all costs if you're doing a dry takeoff plenty of um, deck there for you to get off in the uh, sea fire um, if you're using kinetic assistant you could start from here maybe um, and get you off the deck pretty sharpish so let's have a look a bit more um, the static aircraft look, look really really good um, that was the thing about the illustrious class it was the first of its kind to have um, on board uh, or on deck parking so we have these struts here that allow the sea fires to park on the side there. We've got our battery start carts here and again covered guns. We've got some crew standing about which is nice to see. Beware of air screws or props to normal people. Everything's static so don't expect much in the way of movement. Here we've got the crash um, crash nets um, come back here um, we've got more sea fires out on the deck they're actually individually uh, lettered as well which is a nice um, addition got some more uh, landing safety officers around and we've got the rest of wires and our deck man given the aircraft instructions that must be one hell of a task landing on one of these in a prop trying to see where you're going over the nose bringing it in on a nice attitude and watching the landing safety officer at the same time that is a lot to take in now unfortunately um, these arrestor wires aren't um, working they are just uh, for the look 
so you will need kinetic assistant or you can try if you would like to um, got friends wild cat or um, flying irons hellcat only problem with those is that they have um, the launch a catapult launch switch inside the cockpit now I found that when I start on the carriers the switch goes absolutely mental, flipping up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And the next thing you know, you're being launched without any warning, and the glitch in the switch stays on. Uh, so even if you do manage to touch down on the deck, you get thrown off again. Uh, I'll show you that now. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell happened there? Christ alive. Okay, hook is lowered, gear is down, and uh, flaps are down. Canopy open and ready just in case we need to ditch. Cow flaps are open. We're heading towards the Dumbledore now, so let's see what happens when we touch down. It's formidable. So, you can hook with this. That wasn't a great example. But at least... What? What the hell? Right, okay, so we can't... It, it doesn't like aircraft being on the deck. Brilliant. Well, at least the ones that can uh, launch cells with the catapult option. Um, this has happened with the uh, Hellcat as well. Uh, to prove my point, the uh, Airplane Heaven Hurricane hasn't had this issue, but then again it, it won't catch the hook. It won't do a deck landing. So, um, not brilliant. Like I said, um, you would expect at least um, a little bit more out of a product that cost £7. I mean, even India Fox Teco had a, a little bit more interaction with their carriers when they first launched them, and they were around about the same price. Just put it down. Try again. Okay. Again. Hook worked. Let's see if we can park up. What the? Okay, forget it. And here we have HMS Formidable. And as you can see, quite a lot of sea fires on deck. Um, all parked up. Actually looks really good, I will be honest. And the crazed camo as well. The So to break it up on the sea surface, apparently that was a really good uh, camo to use. It really did break the the uh, the ship up um, compared to 
the horizon so it might not look like a uh, normal functioning um, paint scheme but there are a lot of stories that say that this um, actually worked really well as you can see we've got the three crash barriers there so if you don't make the arrest wires or if the arrest wires snap or you don't have a hook for some reason um, or just a general emergency um, these would go up and catch you before running off the bow got some more lifeboats down here some with covers on got some searchlights more crew again this one if you're using connect assistant yes you can land on it getting off it will be something completely different it would be nice if there were some ident identification marks unfortunately there's not and also another thing that would be great is a cold and dark parking spot I mean we've got plenty of space on the deck uh, over here a, a cold and dark spot would be good or maybe over this side um, just so that we can um, avoid having that bug with the catapult launch switch on the aircraft that have those um, in cockpit because it would be nice to fly a martlet or a wildcat from one of these carriers or even the hellcat but that's not a thing at the moment I don't know if it's just my version of flight sim or what but um, yeah let's get on to the summary so you get the uh, both of the carriers um, together for some reason one is just a static ornament the other one a static ornament but with a, you can do a little bit more with it um, I don't think flight replicas really thought about any other aircraft in in terms of releasing this um, carrier package um, just I think it's just the sea fire in mind with the kinetic assistant it's I'll be honest it's not great I've, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed by it um, yeah it's nice to have some World War 2 British carriers um, but they again they, all, all they've really done is made islands that don't really do anything they don't interact with their surroundings they don't interact with the aircraft unless you have third party software and to be honest um, I feel it's overpriced um, I paid just over seven pounds for it um, and I feel this may be three or four pounds it might sound harsh but I can't see me getting it much use out of this unless they do quite a lot of updating on it um, cold and dark parking spot and also making the arrestor wires active so that normal aircraft can catch it like the um, like I said the airplane heaven hawker hunter or the sea uh, hawker hunter yeah right um, the airplane heaven hawker hurricane or sea hurricane uh, it has a hook um, but it couldn't catch the wires and um, it'd just be nice so that we could have a bit of mix and match there's no way you could multiplayer with these um, especially with the way that they are at the moment and the way they do interact with the um, aircraft that already have that catapult switch on the aircraft um, it just it just not work it just doesn't work if, if you, they're hot start I know it's part of partly the aircraft's issue but at the same time um, I can't see well they're obviously not going to go to Xbox because you won't be able to use them uh, if they do then um, I'm hoping there'll be a, be a bit more interaction with it but only time will tell flight replicas are a bit touch and go their website is less than stellar and the description of the ships on the marketplace 
is very very slim to say the least um, it would have been nice to have a little um, manual that came with it just to give a brief description of each aircraft carrier and um, you know a bit of information but nothing at all um, so not really not impressed that at all really uh, be honest and it's not worth the seven pound so I'd hold back if if I were you if you haven't got them already or if you were thinking of getting them hold back unless you've got the sea fire and you're using kinetic assistant then you know fill your boots um, that's what it was designed for and uh, yeah it'll work no matter what you do but I like to use other aircraft I also like to do carrier stuff with uh, friends online uh, it's just something that you're not going to be able to do with this so um, bit of a thumbs down from me but yeah um, if you've got this far thank you for watching and as always take care and I'll catch you in the next one